Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 10 in a series of 15 videos dealing with the notion of absolute value inequalities. Absolute value inequalities, lesson 10 of 15, and today happens to be. Uh, our day number 125 in the series. Let's take a look at the problem on the blackboard. The problem that we see on the blackboard, let's first take a look at it before we talk about it. It says, which of the following, which of the following is an irrational number, which of the following is an irrational number, that is, which of the following is an irrational number, that is, that is the solution to the equation a squared minus 28 minus 8 equals 0. And the answer choices are negative 6, positive 6, root 5, root 10, and 2 root 5. What I want you to do at this point is to pause the video. I want you to solve the problem yourself. Once you have solved it, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Now, in the process, in the process of solving the problem on your own, if you come up, if you find out, if you realize that this is something that you cannot handle, that you're having some trouble solving it, then what I want you to do at that point is to pause this video, stop this video completely, and watch yesterday's video. Watch day number 124, ninth one in the series, 124. Watch that video in its entirety, understand that problem, that one we did, that we did yesterday, because this, this problem that you see on the blackboard is very similar to what we have already done yesterday. I'll give you five seconds now to be able to pause and unpause the video. I'll get out of your way. Alright, first thing first. In order for us to solve this equation, we have to first bring this 8 to the other side. We bring the 8 to the other side by adding 8 to both sides of the equation. 8 goes away, the negative 8 cancels out the positive 8. What we find is that absolute value of a squared minus 28 has to equal 8. If the absolute value of this quantity is equal to 8, that implies that either, either a squared minus 28 is going to be equal to negative 8 because the absolute value of negative 8 is 8 or a squared minus 28 would have to equal 8 because absolute value of 8 is 8 and absolute value of negative 8 is 8. Absolute value of this quantity a squared minus 28 has to be negative 8 or positive 8. That's it. We just solve for a squared. We have to bring the 28 on that side. So let's add 28 to both sides negative 28 and the positive 28, they kill each other. And a squared, we find out, equals negative 8 and a positive 28, it gives us positive 20, which means a is equal to positive or negative root 20. And of course, root 20 can be written as 4 times 5, and we know the square root of 4 is 2. So it's positive or negative 2 root 5. 2 root 5. Let's see what we get here. Let's add 28 to both sides. Negative 28 kills the positive 28, just like before. And a squared equals 28 plus 8, which is 36. That implies that a has to equal positive or negative 6. So it turns out, so it turns out that this equation that is given to us, absolute value of a squared minus 28 minus 8 equals 0, turns out it has four solutions. It has four solutions. There are four possible values of A that can be employed and all four of those possible values of A will satisfy this equation. What is even more frightening is that today is our very lucky day. We were looking for one right answer. We have found in fact three. Positive six, negative six, and two root five. Two root five. There are three right answers here. What do we do? Now let's go back and take a look at the problem one more time, shall we? The problem is telling us which of the following, which of the following is an irrational number. I even box it for emphasis. Which of the following is an irrational number? Yes, it does have four solutions. Solution to these equations are positive two root two root five, negative two root five, positive six, or negative six. But positive 6 or negative 6, these two are not irrational numbers, these are rational numbers. 
negative 6 and positive 6 are rational numbers. And I'm assuming here, I take it for granted, that you understand what rational number is and what an irrational number is because we have already covered this topic. I should have written it down here. I did not write it down, but we covered this topic just recently. So, what I believe from day number 101 to 105, we spent five days dealing with the notion of irrational numbers and rational numbers. These are rational. These are rational numbers. Six and po positive six and negative six are rational numbers. These are not irrational numbers. Therefore, we are looking for either a positive two root five or a negative two root five. Negative two root five is not here. The answer is positive two root five. The answer is E. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.